How's it going everybody? It's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Social Status Nike Dunk Mid in the Free Lunch Chocolate Milk Colorway. Today's video is brought to you by Hefalux. Hefalux is my favorite go-to sneaker insoles and they sell ETP insoles which essentially is the same material as Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort for your shoes, be sure to check out their website down below and you'll see they sell four different insole options. So depending on the type of insole density and thickness that you're looking for, there's going to be something for everybody. So I've been a paying customer and supporter of Hefalux for years now, so I definitely stand by their products. And be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your purchase and be sure to tell them I sent you. So this Dunk Mid is a collaboration between James Whitner's Social Status Boutique with Nike. And it's part of the free lunch collection consisting of this chocolate milk colorway along with an upcoming strawberry milk colorway too. So both these colorways are a nod to the chocolate milk and the strawberry milk given to underprivileged youth as part of government assistance programs throughout the United States. So I grabbed this pair on Social Status' website back on September 10th and they retailed for 130 US dollars which is roughly 165 Canadian. And the official colorway for this shoe is canvas, mid soft pink, and burnt brown. So first off, here's a quick look at the packaging and honestly, this box is some of the best packaging I've seen of any dunk this year. So mimicking the look of this shoe, obviously the design of this box draws inspiration from food packaging. So we have Nike, all natural, Nike and social status, 100% authentic on the bottom. And then my favorite part about this packaging is we have box contents right here, which is obviously inspired by food packaging where they have the ingredients and the nutrition facts. And they didn't skip out on the paper either. So the paper itself looks like a school calendar. So the paper reads at the top, Nike and social status, school district lunch menu. And underneath this, there's a calendar that shows you the menu for every day of the month. So back to the shoes, this is a Nike Dunk mid silhouette. And to be honest, when they first leaked images of this collaboration, they showed it off as a low top and I was very excited for it. But then when I saw that it was gonna be releasing in men's sizes as a mid top, I was a little bit disappointed. We'll get more into that later on in the review, but jumping into the details, on the toe box, you can see here that the base layer of the sneaker, this is constructed out of this tan colored velvet. We have this perforated finish on it, and then surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, we have a very soft brown colored nubuck. Covering the eyelets, we have this dark brown colored nubuck, and then beneath this on the mid panel of both sides of the shoe, we have more of that tan colored velvet. Overlaid on top instead of your traditional flat swoosh. For this collaboration, we have this TPU gel swoosh, which almost feels like it's made of jelly and has a very interesting and very unique feel to it. Moving downwards, the side wings of the shoe, this again is constructed out of that brown colored nubuck, which also wraps around the bottom of the back heel. And printed on the medial side, we have the ingredients for the shoe. So it says things like Nike sportswear, social status, TPU gel swoosh, textile lining, and so on and so forth. Underneath this, surrounding the top portion of the back heel, we have this dark brown colored velvet, and we have a small velvet pull tab at the back done in this pink colored finish. For the laces, these come with these rope laces, which Social Status calls round twisted poly laces. But if you're not feeling these, they also come with a secondary pair of traditional oval shaped laces. These are the same laces you'd see on a Nike SB Dunk, and this is done in a lighter shade of brown. Underneath this, the tongue is constructed out of velvet in this dark brown colored finish. And on the top, the tag here is done in this rectangular fashion. And to me, it almost feels like a very durable paper. So we have social status branding on the left foot and Nike branding on the right foot. And the back side of the tongue is lined in this orange colored finish. And the back of the tongue reads Nike and the swoosh, name and logo are trademarks and your guarantee of quality swoosh. The inner liner of the shoe is lined in this pink colored textile. And another little small accent that I loved is they stamped on this expiry date and it reads sell by fall 2021. For the insoles, these come with your standard foam line insole and we have social status and Nike co-branding stamped on the heel. So the upper of the dunk mid sits atop this solid rubber cup sole, which is done in this sail or off-white colored finish. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have our classic dunk outsole, and this is entirely done in this university blue colored rubber. We have this circular traction pattern on the forefoot and Nike branding right in the center. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these social status dunk mids. And for those wondering how these fit, overall these fit like most of your dunks out there, so I'd personally recommend sticking true to size. So if you have narrow, normal, or slightly wide feet, true to size should be fine. However, if your feet are really wide, you probably want to go up a half size to deal with the width. Moving on to comfort, so these feel like any of your other dunks out there, whether they're low top or high. So it's going to feel pretty firm on foot, not too much from a cushioning standpoint, but for just an everyday casual wear shoe, they're going to be okay, but I wouldn't necessarily call them that comfortable. And then last but not least, in terms of the material quality and overall craftsmanship on this shoe, this is where I was a little bit disappointed. 
So the material quality, I thought it was on point. They definitely gave us a variety of materials, which was great. And in a lot of these things you don't normally see on Nike releases, like the velvet and the jelly swoosh. And honestly, I thought that the new book was really good quality. However, the craftsmanship, I don't know if I just got unlucky and I got a really poor one off the shelf, but I had a ton of issues on my pair. First off, there was a ton of glue stains that was visible on the new book, and there was some bleeding of the new book onto the velvet material. So in certain areas, the velvet on my pair was stained and discolored. So again, I don't know if this is like this across the board. I don't know if you guys had any of the similar issues with your pairs, but it was pretty noticeable and a little bit disappointing to be honest. With all that out of the way now, let's lace up these dunks and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Overall, while I initially didn't like the mid-top look of this shoe, it's definitely grown on me the more and more I've seen it. However, I think if these were released in men's sizes as a low top dunk, these would definitely be one of my favorite releases of the year. I love the whole theming of the shoe and the execution and the variety of materials. It's just the overall silhouette I don't love. Still, I definitely like these a lot better than I initially thought I would. And when I check GOAT and StockX to see how much these are reselling for, they're honestly not going for that much. So if you struck out on retail and you're looking to pick these up on the secondary market, it shouldn't cost you too much and I wouldn't be surprised if they go further down in the next few weeks. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the social status Dunk Mid Chocolate Milk. What are your overall thoughts on the execution and the look of this shoe? And do you agree with me or disagree with me about my feelings about this mid top silhouette? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8. Check me out on Twitter at Sean.go and visit my website at SeanGo.ca. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.